Dallas is finding herself stewing in hot water as she's facing felony charges for allegedly causing over $300,000 in damages to artwork owned by a Houston attorney who hosted Donald Trump when he was a presidential candidate. Ouch. Talk about regrets. This woman is probably cursing the day she was born right now. Lindy Lou Lehman. Yes, that's her real name, and you are correct. It does rhyme with Cindy Lou Wu, doused the paintings, which were located at the attorney's River Oaks mansion, with liquid and tossed sculptures across the room as if they were inflatable. Footballs. Three original paintings were seriously damaged, along with two abstract sculptures. Fox News is reporting, Lehman, whose LinkedIn profile says she is a freelance court reporter, was booked into the Harris County Jail and released after posting $30,000 bond. She is set to appear in court Thursday. According to the Houston Chronicle, Fox B successfully defended former Texas Gov. Rick Perry in an abuse of power case and in June 2016 hosted Trump at his multi-million dollar home. For those that feel a bit fuzzy on the fight, former Texas Gov. Rick Perry engaged in a few years back. Here's some details via the NY Times on the rostering Gov. Rick Perry's fight against a felony indictment is Ben Ginsburg, a high-powered Washington lawyer who was counsel to the Bush-Cheney campaign, represented George W. Bush in the decisive Florida vote recount in 2000 and was co-chairman of President Obama's Committee on Election Administration. Bobby Birchfield, a partner and trial appellate lawyer in the Washington office of McDermott, Will and Emery, has vast experience in complex corporate litigation and twice argued before the Supreme Court. David Dell, Botsford of Austin is a well-known criminal law specialist. Thomas R. Phillips served as the Chief Justice on the Texas Supreme Court from 1988 to 2004 and is now a partner in the Baker Botts law firm in Austin. At the helm of this team is Tony Butsby, a Houston legal powerhouse who has won hundreds of millions of dollars in awards for his clients and expresses his driving principle with a two-word slogan on his firm's website. Just win. The indictment, returned by a grand jury on Friday in Travis County, Texas, stemmed from Mr. Perry's efforts to force the resignation of Rosemary Laneberg, the county's district attorney. After her arrest on a drunken driving charge, Mr. Perry threatened to veto funding to her office unless she quit. A threat that he ultimately carried out by vetoing $7.5 million earmarked for the public integrity unit that was intended to fight official corruption. Seems pretty clear this court reporter had a real problem with Butsby's personal political beliefs and was not a fan of his support for Trump and Perry. In the mind of a leftist. This totally legitimizes acts of violence and vandalism, which is all part of their ideology of tolerance and inclusivity. The sarcasm was applied liberally to the previous paragraph. So hopefully you caught it. No one has the right to hurt you or damage your things simply because they disagree with your political views. This is something most average adults completely understand. But the bawling children we call modern-day liberals struggle to get this through their thick skulls.